The mass murder in Pittsburgh has houses of worship in central Indiana talking about their own security. News 8's Eric Feldman found out how some religious leaders here in town feel, and he joins us live now. Eric. Hey, good evening, Mike and Brooks. So the traffic on Meridian for that memorial service you were just talking about, it was very significant, very high police presence this afternoon, and security was front of mind for religious leaders I talked to around central Indiana. A house of prayer, a place of safety and reflection, shattered in Pittsburgh on Saturday. 11 dead inside the Tree of Life synagogue. As people mourn nationwide, decisions loom on how to keep worshipers safe. We need to be more vigilant in making sure that our buildings are secure at all times. Reverend James Jackson says the security team in high ups at the Fervent Prayer Church met on Sunday. With the shooting in Pittsburgh, reports that a man in Kentucky wanted to shoot parishioners in a church this past week, and then past tragedies in South Carolina and Texas, he says the conversation must continue. Made sure that we have all of our doors secured. We have installed cameras inside and outside. This weekend, President Trump said an armed guard could have stopped the shooting in Pittsburgh. While Jackson says it wasn't the time for the president yeah. to talk about it, he agrees with the idea and they already have a guard. And unfortunately in our country, um, anywhere you assemble, assemble is dangerous now. Security is front of mind at Christ Church Cathedral. You might recall it was just a few months ago the cathedral made national headlines for its display of Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus inside a cage protesting U.S. immigration policies. We have plans and procedures in place. Uh, so, yeah, we certainly do. Uh, take those kinds of measures at Christ Church. But the hope is that it's the last line of defense, the strongest coming together against it hate. It is our unity and our respect. And one religious leader we talked to says that the tragedy in Pittsburgh, it shines a light yet again that Indiana should pass some sort of legislation about hate crime. The state is just one of a handful in the United States that does not give judges the ability to give harsher sentences for crimes driven by hate. We'll see what happens at the State House. I'm live on the North Side, Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.